Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shochinandan Dotto from Eco Learning, Learning from Home. So in today's lecture, I'll talk about the animal kingdom. So this is the part one video. In this lecture, I talk about uh, the invertebrate or non chordata and part two, I'll talk about phylum chordata. So before entering into the presentation, uh, I uh, discuss about the few things or few facts about the kingdom Animalia or the few key characteristics based on these characters, the phylum or different phylum are divided. So these are uh, first of all, we have to discuss about the symmetry. So symmetry is uh, the character that the individual or the organism have its uh, own image or it's uh, it's it's if it is divided into any 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 plane it have two equal parts so this is the symmetry of that particular organism so symmetry is also three different types one is the asymmetry the second is the radial symmetry third is the bilateral symmetry so asymmetry means that any plan uh, that passes through the center does not divide it into equal half. So like if any organism you are cutting into any in any any is from the center in any plane Then it does not and um, have any equal part So this is the asymmetry like example of the sponge like here the sponge and the radial symmetry means many line that can divide the animal into equal parts. So if you cut this organism from many line, many line, then it have a equal part. Okay, this is the radial symmetrical. Okay, that uh, example is a starfish. Then bilateral symmetrical. Bi means two. So bilateral symmetry means one line that can divide the animal into two identical part. Two identical, one identical part and one identical part. So two identical part. They are called the bilateral symmetrical. Like example, humans. So all the hylobiotic breed are generally are uh, bilateral symmetry. Then the diplobastic or triploblastic uh, organization. So diplobastic di, di means the two, or triploblastic tri means the, the three. So in general, uh, the all the living organism have a uh, different uh, layer. So diplobastic have two layers. These are the endoderm or the ectoderm. So animal in which the cells are arranged in uh, two embryonic layer. Two embryonic layers. What is this one? Is the external ectoderm and internal endoderm. Okay. So these organism are called diplobastic. Uh, organism like cilantrata and uh, there is one un uh, differentiated layer the undifferentiated layer this that is mesoglia that mesoglia layer is present in between the ectoderm and endoderm so this is about the diplobastic organism then that diplobastic organism means there is a three layer three layer is one ect ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm so middle layer is the mesoderm so they are called the diplobastic organism like from party helminthes to chordata they all are the diploblastic organism now uh, talk about the body cavity or body cavity that is called siloam so siloam or body cavity it is a very important characteristic for classifying the uh, different phylum of uh, kingdom animalia so pigeons are absence of uh, cavity uh, between the cell wall and gut wall is a very important uh, for classification okay so the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm i have talked about it uh, the endoderm into the ectoderm or mesoderm so uh, if it is lined by mesoderm they are called the silom so silom is uh, also three type one is the silomate organism two is the pseudo silomate organism and three is the acylomate organism so silomate means the organism have silom okay means the three layer is there so they are uh, called silomate like any leader from phylum any leader to all the phylum means higher chordate they all are belongs to uh, silomate and then pseudo silomate pseudo silomate means in 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 some animals so they have a body cavity is not lying between uh, line by mesoderm so there will be ectoderm and endoderm so mesoderm is present but it's an as a uh, scattered pouch between the ectoderm and endoderm okay so it's not a true mesoderm so they are called the pseudo silomate like only one class one phylum that is the uh, asalmanthes is belong to pseudo silomate and asilomate a means absent so in this organism in this kind of animal uh, there is no body cavity body cavity is totally absent like particular this is the only phylum they uh, don't have any silomate. 
then the uh, classification of hylum uh, kingdom animalia so based on different characteristic or different key character we classify the uh, phylum or different phylum in kingdom animalia so it started from porifera to chordata so today we'll talk about from porifera to hemichordata because they are belong uh, to the non chordata so because they don't have no notochord so they don't have notochord so notochord uh, means they don't uh, belongs to notochordata or non chordata and chordata is we'll talk uh, the chordata in part 2 lecture so chordata is also divided into three sub phylum one is the erochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata so first porifera so porifera is the most primitive organism or most primitive animal on planet earth so this is basically aquatic and habitat and mostly marine okay and they are asymmetrical organism so there is no symmetry in phylum porifera so they have a water transport system or water canal system so water enter into the body of uh, the phylum porifera from this minute pore these are the minute pore they are called ostrea and this uh, water enter into the body via ostrea into the central cavity that is the spongiosil and then after that the water goes out from the body water goes out from this body by this big hole that is called the osculum and uh, the world reproduction basically asexual and asexual by fragmentation or sexual reproduction is also there uh, sexually by formation of gametes so this is all about the phylum porifera example of phylum is the sponges now the phylum nigeria so phylum nigeria is uh, almost aquatic habitat and mostly marine and they have two phase of life one is a sessile phase one is a free swimming phase so sessile phase is the polyp phase or free swimming phase is the medusa so polyp is attached to the substratum of uh, the below of the aquatic body or below the sea surface so it attached to any substratum so this is a sessile non mobile phase and uh, they are reproduce asexually and uh, in polyp uh, so polyp produce asexually this uh, medusa and this medusa is totally free swimming uh, phage okay or uh, they can uh, swim freely and they are uh, radially symmetrical and also diploblastic so they have this metagenesis i have already told because they have asexual reproduction in polyp phage or sexual reproduction in medusa phage okay example ovelia oralia jellyfish sea anemone cora all the cora belongs to phylum nidaria now to the phylum tinnifera phylum tinnifera has a unique character that is the bioluminescence it is the one of the most important characters of bioluminescence means they emit light from their body they are exclusively marine and radially symmetrical and diploblastic organism okay sexes are not separated means in a single body they have both the sexes male and female reproduction take place only by the sexual okay and example is the box jellyfish and then phylum platyhelminthes so platyhelminthes platy mean flat so it's a flat worm so chinia solium chinia saginata they are belongs to the phylum platyhelminthes so they have bilateral symmetrical they are a triploblastic organism they are free living or parasitic when they are parasitic they have a hook or sucker in their mouth part uh, so this hook or sucker present to uh, attach the host body uh, and uh, if they are parasite most of them are endoparasite and sexes are not separate fertilization in each and development is totally indirect example flatworm i will talk then uh, the phylum aselminthes or nematoda so nematoda means aselminthes they are called round worm okay so they are uh, triploblastic the short body cavity will be there uh, pseudo silomet and is present and the body is circular and cross section so they have name is the round worm here you can see they are round worm and uh, most important thing is that they always uh, or or, or uh, maximum time the female are larger than the male in phylum as element this next is the phylum annelida phylum annelida means they are silomet they uh, all means they are the true silomet okay so this is the first uh, phylum they have the true silom and uh, so the uh, this allow the true organ to be packed in uh, packed in a body structure and they are bilateral symmetrical and triploblastic organism and they are close circulatory system is present and reproduction totally sexually but they are hermaphrodite means uh, both the sex organ are present in a single body example are arthom sandworm and leeches 
नेक्स्ट फाइलम इज द अर्थोपोडा अर्थोपोडा इज द लार्जेस्ट बिलोंग्स टू ऑल द फाइलम सो मोस्ट अबाउट 80 परसेंट ऑफ द लिविंग एनिमल द बिलोंग्स टू द फाइलम अर्थोपोडा एंड अमंग द 80 परसेंट एटी फोर परसेंट इज सेवेंटी परसेंट इज बिलोंग टू इंसेक्ट प्लस इंसेक्ट सो फाइलम अर्थोपोडा इज अ वेरी वेरी बिग फाइलम सो अर्थोपोडा मीन्स आर्थो एंड पोडा मीन्स द जॉइंट अपेंडेजेस सो अर्थोपोडा हैव ए वेरी हार्ड एक्सटर्नल सेल that is called exoskeleton and body is totally segmented and they are bilateral symmetrical triploblastic and segmented body and sulomate true sulom is present there the uh, excretion take place by malpighian tubules mostly diocious the fertilization is totally internal but oviparous and development is may, may be direct or indirect main larval stage may be present or may not be example lobster crab insect spider prawn so they all are belongs to phylum arthropoda next phylum is the mollusca so mollusca is the all the uh, snail or uh, the here huge uh, types of mollusca mollusca is also the second largest uh, group of kingdom animalia after uh, the arthropoda and they are bilateral symmetrical triploblastic and sulomate organism they are a little segmentation is there but they have a unique characters that is the radula so their mouth part is a fire like rack Uh, rasping organ for feeding so that is radula and they are oviparous and indirect development through larval stage development will be there so example comes snail uh, squid and octopus so they all belongs to phyla mollusca next phylum is the echinodermata so echinodermata is uh, the triploblastic means ectoderm endoderm mesoderm are there so they are true sulomate and the radial is symmetrical means any plant they if you cut this body they they part into equal two parts and uh, equal hubs and uh, but the but adult are radially symmetrical but the larva are bilateral symmetrical digestive system is complete but no excretion system water vascular system most important characters of the phylum echinodermata is the water vascular system okay sexes are totally separated reproduction is sexual fertilization is totally external and they have a huge larval stage lots of uh, echinodermata have a different larval stage okay and uh, so but the larva are totally free swimming the example are starfish sandular uh, sea urchin and sea cucumber next and last uh, phylum uh, of today's lecture is the hemichordata so earlier hemichordata belongs to phylum chordata but due to the research and development of science the research found that the hemichordata does not have the notochord so notochord is the key character of the uh, phylum of chordata so that's why the hemichordata does not uh, belong uh, to phylum uh, chordata so uh, it's 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 bilateral symmetrical and triploblastic animal and exclusively marine okay and they are, can be solitary or uh, colony they can form colony hemichordata have a true body cavity sulomate organism so primitive nervous system are present their sexes are totally separated or may be united and reproduction mostly sexual okay and fertilization is totally external so balanobuses is the only uh, balanobuses is the example of uh, phylum hemichordata so this all about uh, the animal kingdom so thank you thank you for listening if you like the video please hit the like button please subscribe our channel and share this video and please hit the bell icon to get the future notification from our channel thank you